Hello everyone, welcome to yet another tutorial. Today we are going to look at how to create an animated painting like this in 3ds Max. So we have a tree which is moving because of the wind, there are leaves falling and it has a painting like look to it. So we will create this from scratch in 3ds Max. Uh, there are no particle effects or dynamics or any forces assigned to this. This is strictly uh, basic tools like keyframe animation and um, moving the vertices. Right? So it should be pretty simple to uh, get done without knowing too many technical technicalities of particles or dynamics or anything like that. So in 3ds Max, first thing is to create a plane and we are going to use a displace modifier. So I'm going to increase the subdivisions to 40 inch. So you have a dense mesh and then we will add a displace modifier. And this displace modifier will use an image which will use a black and white image where the white goes up, black stays down and the gray area will be the in between which will create the terrain. So we'll go to Photoshop and we'll go to create a new file and I'm going to use a 1000 by 1000 by 150 resolution 8 bit image so it's a 1k image and make sure that this is the foreground color is black the background is color is white and you go to filter render clouds all right so the blacks will stay down the whites will go up all you have to do is image adjustment levels and will bring more blacks black is the area where you have flat ground and white is where you have mountains okay so I'll increase the whites and so the mountains become more accentuated and so this will add more mountains and this will get rid of the black areas okay so what I'm going to do now is once I get this I can use a brush and I can clean up some of this so that so for example this area has quite a few black areas so our tree can be placed here somewhere and then i can get rid of some areas here and then you can also work with the opacity so there will be lesser mountains in this area around the tree So we don't want any high-lying mountains around the edges also in this area. And then the tall mountains will be visible through the smaller mountains. So we want to get rid of these. And then this will be the tall mountains. So you can go to image adjustment levels and try to bring in more of that white. All right, so this looks good. I'm going to save this image as JPEG and this will be my terrain. Okay, I created a folder and I will also save my 3ds Max file in that folder in terrain. All right, now we're going to use that image. So find that folder where you saved it. And open it nothing happens yet but as we increase the strength the mountains start coming up so you can see now here we have lesser mountains and then the more mountains all right so there are mountains in the background and lesser more mounts in the foreground so this creates a nice gradation for your scene and then you can add some blur to kill that Okay, so you can dial down the strength if you want, you can increase the blur and get nice mountains. 
I will also show you how this was created. So we'll drag this texture and we will bring in the bitmap. We created a folder. So I'll bring this bitmap and you can see that the whites have been moved up and the black stayed down. Okay, so you can further modify this image so that you can get a better texture. So you have like a few big mountains and then lesser of those. So we'll go to Photoshop and then further we can kill some of these. We can increase the brush size also. And then try to kill some of these mountains here. Okay, so we are separating these. Then I can save this image as JPEG. Go to Max and then we can update this file. And you can see now that those areas have died out. So then we can now strengthen these. So, so this this will give a better view so that you can see through the mountains and go in the back. Okay. So uh, we will do some camera setup. So you can just control C this to add a camera. Okay. And then we will go to physical camera and show save frame and We'll use 720 by 405 for our test renders. Okay, so this is our scene setup. You can see there are mountains in the background. And this is where the tree will be somewhere. So this looks pretty good. Now we will add color to our terrain. So the mountains will have snow and then the rock and then the grass. So in Photoshop, we will add a new layer and this layer will be called green. All right. So we will select the black areas and add a nice green paint look to it. So we will go to select color range and click on the black area to select the black color. And if you want, you can here use the shift key and go towards this and select like a gray area so it will add to the selection so ever so slightly it is adding to the selection if you drag this fuzziness you can see that it is increasing so you can use that if you want okay so it selects this black color select color range let us see if this can further be enhanced Select, deselect, select color range, okay, so I wanted to get inside this area also. And then what I'll do is I'll go to edit fill with a green color and then the darkish green color and then I'll go to filter filter gallery and we will add sponge so you can see the brush size is 10 definition is 0 smoothness is 10 so if you want to use these settings or you can play around with this so we need some gradation between the two green colors and then you can go to filter stylize oil paint okay which will add texture to your image and then this is where the camera will be set up and this is what you will be seeing okay so this looks pretty good we will move on and create a new layer we will use the grays now 
so we'll go to select deselect and then we will go to select color range and now we will select this green color and then start selecting some of these whites okay so click a few times so this is selected now see these are the snow capped mountains okay so if you want lesser snow cap this looks good i guess this is not bad uh, we'll go here edit oops window history i lost my selection okay so edit fill color and i will use a brown color this time all right so these are our peaks which have brown color and again i'll go to filter gallery and the sponge effect filter stylize oil paint okay and then i will duplicate this layer there is duplicate layer so we have the original one saved there and then we go to filter sponge effect and go to filter stylize oil paint okay and we will save this image you, you can also go to image uh, the green color image adjustments levels if you want to make some changes make it darker image adjustments levels okay image adjustments levels file save as jpeg terrain color okay go to max open materials and update this to the color and you get a nice mountains and terrain HDRI is the next step. So go to HDRI heaven and find a sky with clouds. Okay, maybe this one. Download a 2K image and then go to 8K. Open that image. OSL, we want general bitmap. And I use this one okay and now we don't see the sky so we'll go to material editor drag that onto the material and it as an instance double click on it now you need to change the U value to move it left and right but we don't see anything for the U for so we will move the V first so we need to move the V down so the sky comes in and then you can move the U to move the, so see what clouds you want to see. So this looks nice. If you hit the render button. Now everything is quite surreal because of the reflections. So we'll go to material editor and change the reflection to 1. Ah, render settings. I will make sure that the physical camera is locked and then I'll render the view. So now we got the terrain. Uh, the sky looks realistic, everything else looks painting wise. So what we need to do is go to Photoshop, open that HDR image, go to filter image 
we will directly add because this is more than 8 bit it doesn't have that option for but you can see that the sky is looking like a painting now you can change these values if you want but we just want a smaller part so we'll just leave everything same so i'll save this actually i didn't want to save it window history or perhaps it is saved so it's okay and then you can see that the sky is also looking like a painting when you render however it doesn't update so what you need to do is you need to go to arnold flush caches and you can do textures or you can simply do all and this will clear the cache and then it will render the mountain so now you can see that the mountain the sky looks like a painting but everything has become dark now so what you need to do is select the camera go to modify panel and look for exposure it doesn't it have a physical camera exposure and then render it again it make any change okay now it's too bright okay so what we need to do is Go to material editor and double click on that image, HDRI image output and reduce the output to say 0.25. Render it again and now the sky comes in but everything is dark so again we need to play around with this, I'll cancel this, I'll make this 0.5 for example. Let us turn on active shade here. So point two five looks good for the sky, but now the everything else is dark, so we will select the camera. And change the exposure value so if this is lower then things are brighter okay so you can play around with this and see what looks nice I think 6 was a good number and then what we can do is we can introduce another light so go to Arnold actually here, add a light and we'll add a light with the distant light and the exposure value is too high one Okay, and now things are looking good. So uh, we can further tweak this later on. So in the next class, we will look at how to create the tree. And then in the next class, we'll look at how to animate the leaves. Okay, so thank you very much. See you in the next class.